Hello and welcome to Tires 101. I am Dave Boyle and I'm the president of Tire Profiles. And this is the second video in a series we have created to help you understand and better utilize your tread spec system. In this video, we are not going to talk about how to read tire size or what a directional tire is. I'm going to assume you know this stuff. I'm going to talk to you about stuff that you may not know. Newsflash, tires are not round. Bet you didn't know that. Even on new tires, tread depth and roundness can vary around the circumference of the tire due to the manufacturing process. The tire is made up of numerous components that are built up on a drum and then cured under pressure and heat. Think of it like layers of rubber that are heated under pressure in a mold. This mold is what forms and softens the rubber into a tire with tread. After the tire has been cured, there is a step called the uniformity measurement test. This is where the manufacturers simulate mounting the tire on a wheel, inflating it and running it against a simulated road surface. One of the measurements they are looking for is called radial runout of the tire. RRO is the deviation of the tire's roundness from a perfect circle. If a tire is too far out of round, as many are, tread is actually ground off in spots to make it more round. The tire manufacturing process is not interested in tread uniformity, but rather ride quality. They have never get them perfectly round. This is part of why balancing is still required. But the goal is to get them to ride as smooth as possible with as few wheel weights as possible. The result of this process is tread depth that is often not uniform around the tire. If you were to accurately measure the tread on a new tire in multiple places around the tire, you will likely get slightly different readings. Why is this important? It's important to know that if you were to take a manual measurement after driving the vehicle over tread spec, you might get a slightly different reading if you don't measure the tire in the exact same place that tread spec did. Knowing what is behind this will help you explain this to a customer if it ever comes up. News flash number two, all tires are not created equally. Just because the size is the same doesn't mean it's the right tire for that car. The OEMs work very closely with the tire companies and very often the vehicle is designed with a very specific tire in mind that gets mated to the vehicle's chassis and suspension characteristics. This is probably the biggest single advantage that a dealership has when competing for tire sales. Your opportunity is to constantly reinforce that you know what's best for their vehicle. Just like you do in all other repairs, the notion of the dealer knows best is how you win in tires. Every time there is a green or yellow tire measurement, make sure the customer knows that when they need tires, you are their expert. Make sure they know that the vehicle was designed with certain tires in mind and that ride quality, life expectancy, and safety could be adversely affected if the wrong tire is used. By using the Tread Tracker report from TreadSpec on every visit, you will have many opportunities to reinforce the fact that you are their tire expert. This becomes a win-win for you and your customer. 